Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I know usually we talk about Macs and uh, music and sound, but it's all very trivial and I'm feeling sort of sort of in a profound mood. So let's not talk about Macs or any of that garbage. Let's talk about something that matters, like what is Beepatcher? Well, Beepatcher is um, a Macs tool that lets you use uh, one patch inside of another patch. Um, I know it sounds dirty, but it's actually really cool. So here's how it works. Um, say you had a patch like this. This is my awesome patch that I made two seconds ago. Um, and it does this really great thing. So when you start this metronome, it plays this melody here. So here's the melody. This has been going for like maybe three hours now, and um, my roommate actually hanged himself. Um, but that's not that's not important. So this is the melody, and this is the um, over here is the number of grace notes attached to that note. So you can hear when it gets to this note, it adds another couple notes here based on this uh, little bar here. So that's a ton of grace notes, and evidently that makes Max freak out. But you get the idea. You can make every note have grace notes. And then it's just kind of some random garbage. Anyway, whatever, not important. The point here is that, say we had this and we wanted to use it inside another patch. So we wanted to have a million of these to really annoy um, our roommate, which is moot now that he's killed himself, but you know. Uh, oh, and down here you can set the, the, the pitch. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make a new max patcher and make it gigantic. Um, zoom in so that you guys can see it. And... Save this in the same place that you save the other one. So I had made a folder here called bpatcher example. It's got that base patch that is where um, uh, the name of that other patch you just saw, and I'm going to call this one, um, I don't know, master. Um, for homework, write 300 words on the slave narrative in computer science. All right, so the, what we're going to do is make a new object called bpatcher. <laughs> called bpatcher and um, so what do you think I mean if you want to reference another patch would we give it an argument that is the name of that patch it's, that that sounds like it would make sense right no that's not how you do it that's not how you do it at all you highlight the patch you go to the inspector and down here at patcher file you choose that other um, patcher so bpatcher example base and now we've got a reference to that other patcher which is pretty awesome um, of course Oh, it's in totally the wrong place. Well, that sucks. So to fix that, uh, you go to patching rectangle here, and um, oh no, you don't. What do you do? Um, offset must be this offset. Let's see. Make this one hundred. Yes, I see. So we're gonna make this say. That's a very strange way of doing it. Make that one say minus 100 and this one minus 200. No, not 2,200. Yes, there we are. And look, now we're looking at the important part of our patch. Just like that, I've got a patch within a patch. Um, of course, we can't do anything about it because there's no inlets or outlets to this patch. So if we jump back to this patch really quick, base, um, we notice that we've got uh, metronome beats coming in here and we have to set the metronome pulse here and we get sound out so that's a quick fix um, let's save this save this as base um, BP meaning this is a special version of it that we're going to adjust for um, using with B patcher make an inlet for metronome pulses and an inlet where we set the beats per minute Screw this metronome, we don't need it anyway. We'll just send in metronome pulses from this inlet. Okay, and here we get sound out, so we'll make an outlet. Uh, not an out, outlet. Yes. We get the magic sound out of magic. Cool. Save this, jump back to the other patcher. Um, now instead of referencing base, we reference base BP. And we have inlets and outlets. So you make a metronome, set it to 50, say, and put this in here, add an easy DAC, and send sound. Well, always good to make a gain. Attach this to the gain, turn this up. Oh my god, look at that, it's working. Oh 
my god, it's so cool. It's hard even to um, it's hard even to believe just how cool it is. And now we just take this entire big chunk of patch here, duplicate it. And we've got three copies of that same thing. Kind of awesome. So if you move this one now, we can set this one to 12, and this one is the same thing, but an octave up. Now, of course, we have to connect all this crap now. That's not such a big deal. sound out of this one. Hmm. These are getting kind of goofed, I guess. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, evidently these are in some very funny ranges. patches making noise at the time at the, at the time at the same time from one master patch um, and that's it that's how you use patcher. it's really easy and um, that should get you started so hope it was helpful and take it easy guys I'll see you around